The 6th of June 2018 at our school was arranged Mr. Victor Johanik's lecture about fake news. Mr. Johanik was a teacher at our school for over 10 years, so he happily accepted our invitation. The lecture itself was prepared for over 40 students, first graders and their teachers, and even our English teaching assistant. Event started at around 9 am and it took for one and a half hour. Right from the start, Mr. Johannik bombarded listeners with good comparisons and samples of charismatically prepared talk, so he caught attention from even the most phone-focused students. Lecture contained information about how to recognize these fake news, samples from real life like a story from Ukraine woman about executing children on street in her city. He made sure students knew the definition of fake news and presented the best examples from recent Czech presidential election. After some other stories like how communists set up fake Nazi documents at the bottom of Czech Lake to reason why fake news were one of the strongest and most effective weapons in the Cold War between 1947 and 1991. In the end of the lecture there was a document shown with the detailed study presented by famous English journalist. After the lecture we interviewed Mr. Johannik about his opinions. Good day to you. You used to be a teacher on our school and uh, now you had a lecture about fake news. What are your feelings about the lecture? Uh, hello. Uh, so I'm very happy that I can be here because I used to teach here for 10 years and I really enjoy this moment because I saw the old faces like my colleagues and I saw uh, also the students and I'm happy that I can have this lecture. So you had a lecture about fake news. Do you think that it's important to educate pupils about fake news? Yes, absolutely, because uh, people have to know what are the real news, yeah? not fake news. Uh, they have to choose between fake and real and they have to know what is real in our world. Yes, that's really important. Uh, how much do you think that uh, Czech citizens are influenced by Czech, uh, fake news? Yeah, uh, Czech citizens are influenced, uh, influenced uh, very much because we can see the results of uh, voting, of votes in Czech Republic and um, it's influenced by the fake news. I think that it's important that someone like you educates pupils about fake news and we are really happy to have you here and we wish you good luck and a nice day. Thank you. I'm happy to. Thank you very much. We can confirm that Mr. Johanik as well the audience enjoyed the lecture and the students could have taken a lot of valuable information out of it. We can only hope such lectures will be introduced not only at our school more often so young people, future electors would be more informed. For Erasmus Plus, on air together, Czech broadcasting team Uherský Brod.